Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you all for being here once again and for joining us in this new webinar organized by Shining 3D Dental Team. Today, together with my colleagues from the European team, we would like to keep describing the integrated digital workflow that connects Shining 3D devices and Exocut software towards the process that goes from scanning of the initial situation of the patient to the creation of a 3D printed model. Unlikely the last time, today we will not start from an intraoral scanning, but uh, we will focus on the strategies to scan a traditional impression and to import the STL file into the CAD software. Then, as last step of the workflow, we will show how to print the designed model in the most efficient and performing way. As previously mentioned, the entire workflow will be focused on the integration between Shining 3D devices and Exocad software. More specifically, we will start from an overview on the desktop scanner DSEX Pro, and we will rapidly see how to acquire a traditional impression following a very intuitive and user-friendly step-by-step process. After the scanning process itself, we will focus on the functions of Exocad model creator, and we will see how to create a printable model with removable dies using the STL file that we have obtained from the previous scanning process. Last but not the least, we will have a detailed description of the technical features of our DLP printer Acufab D1, and uh, we will see how to use it at its best in order to print the model that we have created in Exocad Model Creator. As always, at the end of the demonstration, we will be available for a Q&A session to solve all your doubts, and we will also be available to reply to your comments here below in the meantime of the presentation. I will now pass the microphone to my colleague Simone Zanasi, in charge of technical support in Europe, who will introduce the scanning and design process. We hope you will enjoy the webinar and thank you all for your attention. Okay, let's start. So I prepared a time-lapse video for showing you the acquisition process of two impressions. First of all, I define the job in our dental manager software. So it's an anatomic bridge with antagonist. I have to set uh, impression as a scan type and uh, byte impression as occlusion. Once saved, I can start the acquisition process. The software shows immediately a pop-up a window with uh, some options that uh, the end user can decide to apply or not. Then let's go. The first step is related to the byte impression. That's it. The aim of this step is to have a mesh, a surface for registering the occlusion position of the two impressions. Then the acquisition of the lower impression and thanks to the intelligent add scan feature I can select the part of the surface uh, where I wanted to add uh, other acquisitions and uh, the software automatically moves the plate in order to uh, to get data exactly on the selected surfaces. The third step uh, is related to the upper impression. As you can see, we have uh, a special plate uh, for holding to hold the impressions. Also in this case, uh, I added scan thanks to the intelligent add scan feature. Once done, the software automatically align the lower with the byte and then the upper with the byte. So the final result, the final result is um, a couple of surfaces, the two, the lower and the upper traces in occlusion, the perfect occlusion. Once done. I can press complete. I'm back at the dental manager page and I can start designing just pressing X design. I set, in my case, I set the model creator tool as the default one.
Okay, let's design our model with the model creator module provided by XCAD. Just a brief introduction on this module. It allows the fabrication of digital models either by subtracting or additive method. And the model can be fabricated with any scannable material such as gypsum or diestone and can be sectioned or not. Very important, the original surface must be scanned with an open or an integrated scanner. Open scanner means a scanner that provides output file in open file formats as STL, OBJ or PLY. And as you know, the Shiny 3D's desktop and interval scanners are fully integrated with the Xcode system, so no problem at all for the Shining 3D customers. And then these models um, can be made in the traditional way of having removable dice or on a prefabricated pinnet base. Let me show you how to set a prefabricated pinnet base. At the first step here, I'm asked to select uh, which model plate I want to work with. The first option is plate model demo and as you can see this model type provides me to pinnet bases. The software, once set this option, the software will allow me to get some sections on the model in order to obtain a cut model at the end of my design. For this uh, um, live session I would like to work with the plateless model with occlusal plane in order to have always the reference of the occlusal. By pressing the left mouse button, I can move the surfaces to wherever I want. Just I have to pay attention in order to avoid the red colored surfaces. The red colored surfaces will not be included into the final model. So I have to take care, I have to take care, I have to pay attention and uh, I have to set the right position of my model in order to avoid that kind of mistake. If I wanted to jump back to the default position, just it's necessary just to press auto align. It's also possible by clicking the control button of your uh, keyboard to rotate the model thanks to some colored arrows and the model can be rotated around the main axis as I'm showing you I'm showing you now. Then I can set the model high having always the complete control of the upper or lower jaw model high here I have the values And that's it. I can add some constraints here. If I want to just to rotate around the occlusal axis by pressing the control key and the left mouse button, just the blue colored arrows are available. Okay, next. At this step, I'm asked to highlight the part of the surfaces that I want to delete. Just pressing the left mouse button, I can draw a line for, highlight, for highlighting the um, part of the surface that I want to delete. Let me do also on the other side. And that's it delete. I would like also to delete this part. Okay. I want to do the same for the lower. Sorry. Here I can change, I can set uh, the some uh, visualization options I can play with the transparency with the transparency 
by moving the, the cursor or I can set what I want to to see on my monitor now I'm working on the lower arch so this is the visualization that I want delete and also on the other side delete if I set if I highlight wrongly um, a part of surface that I don't want to delete it's necessary to press shift button for unselecting that part shift button and uh, left mouse button for unselecting that part okay I think that we can go ahead At the third step, I'm asked to draw the margin line for the element 1.6. We will start from the element 1.6. As you can see, moving my mouse, I have always data related to the curvature of the surface. So I have uh, also in this case the complete control of the area of the surface where I want to draw my margin line. I can uh, replace a part of the margin line just drawing a new part uh, or I can move the margin line thanks to the, these control points. It's possible to add uh, control points without any kind of limitation about the, the number of added control points and I think that it's okay we can go and I have to do the same for the element 1.4 the same tool you can find the same tool in the CAD application of Exacad exactly the same Okay, here we are, here we are, more or less, I can go. Okay, here the software is asking to me to select which teeth should be detachable in the model. By default, the software has set as detachable teeth the element 1.4 and the element 1.6. It's okay for me so I can go ahead without changing the default setting here I have to set the insertion direction of my removable dice pay attention I'm not designing prothesis so this step is not related to the insertion direction of prothesis but it's related to the insertion direction of the removable dice I can change it just moving the arrows or setting from view so you rotate and you move your the, the model set from view for having the direction the initial direction die undo you can uh, go back to the previous uh, configuration sorry to the previous configuration ok, once set the insertion direction of the removable dice I have to press run the software is generating the model and there you are, the model with the, the removable dice. I would like to show you, thanks to the cut view feature, that the software has already performed the ditching. I can change uh, some parameters, values uh, about the ditching uh, 
here so the teaching width or is depth or the high if I change uh, one of these parameters at least one of these parameters I have to run again to press run again in order to generating a new model okay and that is the result very easy if I don't remember the meaning of one of these parameters is so helpful uh, contextual manual just pressing uh, the question mark the software shows you the right page of the manual where you can find the uh, requested info okay let's go next step uh, let me close the cut view lower model i don't change the setting values uh, the set the, the, the parameters values sorry it's okay as you can see the software has performed automatically the hollow i have all the parameters for setting the hollow how to hollow the model it's really helpful to hollow the model in order to first of all save material uh, in case you want to produce it by an additive method and the second reason is uh, to get a more stable model it's okay okay then I'm at this step I can add attachments or pins very important uh, the fact that uh, this uh, module has uh, also the option for of preparing for articulator using uh, uh, let's say stabilization or occlusion roads for different articulator models i will add uh, just support pins if the support pin uh, is red colored means that i have to change something his positioning or other things when the pin is gray means that it's okay okay i can also add a label let me add a label shining 3d add the text the label can be an added mm, i can i can have a label with um, a positive test let's say text or a subtract test okay it's done this is my final model that can be produced by different method as i told you and uh, just let me show you okay the ditching as i showed you before this is the hollow hollowed part and that's it and my colleague filippo is going to show you um, how to print it out with the aquafab one 3d printer provided by shiny 3d but before asking to filippo to start his, uh, his presentation I would like to show you uh, that it's also possible to design a model for implants okay before I have to set this implant model creator and that's it. Anyone? Anatomy crown, 3D print material, implant based, yes. Which one is up to me to decide? Let's set uh, screw retained. And I also want uh, to design my virtual gingiva. So I will set uh, the de design virtual gingiva as an option. 
there are also a lot of parameters and remember that uh, by pressing the question mark uh, you have uh, the uh, contextual manual so you can uh, check on the manual uh, the meaning of each parameter okay then the adjacent okay so the neighbors one 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 and two two and also the antagonist because i have also antagonist okay scan mode i will import scanned surfaces so uh, it's a it's the is the same uh, i can uh, I can set a different option here. Let's set the, the fourth one. So two, two stone models in occlusion. Then press save. One press save. I can open the model creator module. And the software will ask me immediately to import the STL files because I skip the um, I skip the, uh, the acquisition process. So the software is waiting for STL files. I have some a sample. Please pay attention when you import STL files in Exocad, you have to read what as Exocad is as is waiting for. In this case, is waiting for the upper jaw. So I set the I select the upper jaw, then the scan marker here then the lower jaw here we are same model as before if you don't like this option you can unflag auto hide the view obstruction if you wanted to see all your models and if you want to manage the visualization options uh, here model type the same as before same options as before so i can set different high and so on just i have to pay attention because in this case i have also an analog so if i set the high in this way for sure the analog will not be included into my final model so it's an error it's a mistake so please set the right the right distance here go at this step i'm asked to select which implant i'm working with i'm working with the, the extra demo implant and also with what kind of which what kind of preparation i want to obtain screw retain is okay so let me explain the meaning and how can be helpful this cursor as you know, when you acquire a scan body, the lower part of the scan body cannot be acquired perfectly due to the undercut surfaces, uh, due to the neighbors, due to the gingiva, think about an interval acquisition and so on. So Exocad provides this feature so you can decide that the part of the uh, acquired scan body will be um will work uh, for will be considered sorry for um for registering uh, the, the the implant position so then just pick one point has reported in the, this picture and press best fit matching let's go the same as before i can uh, select and highlight part of uh, surface part of uh, surfaces that i want to delete let me jump in case of intersections between the the two uh, the lower and the upper model the, the exocad asks if you want to fit by cutting away intrusions or if you want to go ahead without modifying the scan data let me do let me go ahead At this step, uh, I'm asked to design the emergency profile. 
the tool is exactly the same Mm, the, the tool is exactly the same um, of the uh, margin line detection and drawing. So I can replace uh, part of the emergency profile and, and so on. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Next. No, we do. The software is asking me if I want to set uh, some uh, detachable teeth. In this case, I'm working with implant, so I don't need to have a, um, a removable, uh, a removable uh, tooth, so I can skip and go ahead. Then, at this step, I can draw the virtual gingiva, just setting uh, the mask tab. I can draw where I want to have uh, my gingiva, pressing add. The gingiva will be considered as a, a third surface, another surface, and uh, can be produced uh, separately. I can set uh, different parameters as the thickness, the offset, and so on. By pressing the run button, the software is starting generating the model with the removable gingiva okay it's done i have no problem about my analog the analog is into the model so it's okay let me show you by the cut view the gingiva mask here i can change the offset so this distance i can change also the, the thickness and other, uh, other, other things. Go. This step is for generating the model uh, for, the, for the antagonist. I did not mod change, I did not modify parameters values. As you can see, the model the model has been hollowed. Has a, um, a, a should you uh, for the removable dies in the, in the previous project. And here I can add attachments or pins as I did before. I would like to add a label, but with a subtract test. Fix this one. So, shiny GD, add the text here and then subtract. I can change the size, I can change the thickness, I can change the positioning, and I can go ahead. To the last step. Okay, as you can see, the label is uh, negative, has a set that it's okay. I would like at this step to show you by the cut view the uh, the socket. So the white line is the profile of the analog and the yellow one is the profile of the socket and once produced this model uh, the analog will be put uh, in, will be inserted into the into the socket directly okay at this step i can also make some measure if i want and i think that that's it uh, thanks a lot for your attention. Uh, we will, as you know, we will be available for answering to all your questions at the end of the presentation. And uh, I think that now Filippo, my colleague Filippo, can start showing you how to print, print out uh, the model that I have uh, just designed by the model creator module by, provided by Exacad. 
Thanks again for your attention. Thank you, Simone. Thank you so much. So now together we will see the 3D DLP software plus the printing phase. In the left up corner, we can select the device that we have in our network. Under material, we can select which resin we will use to print the models. Pressing the open button, we can select what we would to print. We can import the STL in this way, or we can just drag and drop the STL inside the software as I'm doing. OK, the software, if the STL are not perfect, the software asks to repair it, and we can select yes. OK, these are the models that we have just imported. With the left button of the mouse, it's possible to rotate the view. Clicking on the model plus the control button is possible to pan the model on the printing surface. And with the third button, it's possible to rotate the objects. With the bottom place function, it's possible to select the surface that we want in contact with the plate. Then, with the flip function, it's possible to revert the orientation of the model. OK, we can proceed with the scale function. Of course, the scale function is useful to recite the objects that we have on the plate and also here we have a function to recite uh, with the default value the size of the object. The fifth function is a very very useful tool. It's called intelligent composition and as you can imagine is useful to compose in the best way as possible the objects on the printing platform. Now I'm copying and paste the objects in order to have more than one model on the plate. I'm creating two copies for each object. Then as you can see pressing the intelligent composition function the software completely and automatically place uh, in the best way the objects on the plate. Of course it's possible also to decide the spacing that we want between the objects. For example now I've select 2 mm. The sixth button is related to the support. Clicking on it the tab related to the support displayed. The first thing that we need to select uh, is the base type. We have three different uh, strategy to create uh, the base. Outer contour, normal projection and bounding box. Here you are the difference between the three strategies. The normal projection is the exact copy of the shape and the size of the object. The outer contour is a base larger than the surface and the shape of the object. And finally, selecting bounding box, the base will be created like a box around the object. OK, for this case, I think we can select a normal projection. Proceeding with the other parameter, as you can see, we can select the size of the pin in the upper part, the size of the pin on the lower, on the bottom, and other parameters are related to the spacing between the pins and uh, the base height. OK, now to have an example, I can, for example, define an height of 3.5 millimeter 
and uh, a bottom radius like uh, 0.6 mm. Pressing play, the software calculates in automatically the pins and create the support. Okay. And here you are the supports that the software created automatically. To make an example, we can decrease the height of the pins and recalculating the supports we will have uh, pins uh, with less 8 ok we can restore uh, I think 3.5 millimeter is fine to print uh, these models Okay, ready and here you are once again the pins with a height of 3.5 mm it's very comfortable in my opinion to check uh, where the pin are uh, with this view with the view uh, under the objects now I've uh, increased the spacing between the pins uh, and as you can see is decrease also the number of the pins of course to make an example we can for example modify the scythe in the bottom radius I can insert for example one millimeter and creating the supports uh, we will obtain uh, a very large pin on the base okay as you can see the base of the pins is very larger and on top we select 0.26 millimeter so as you can see there are a lot of parameters that uh, we can decide about uh, the supports. We can create the supports as we prefer. The Shining 3D software has already inside the perfect parameter to create the supports completely and automatically. But of course, with your experience using the printer, you can modify this parameter and you can create a new support strategy. Another important tool that we check together is the editing support. Of course, it's possible to edit one by one all the pins that the software created in automatically. Clicking with the left button of the mouse is possible to add a pin or is possible to delete in the same way when the pin becomes red. Now I would check with you the pin that we created to print this model in order to check if everything is ok. Ok, I think everything is good and we can apply this strategy pressing the confirm button the software create the supports in the way that we decide. Uh, I would to share with you also this information, this um, tool related to the supports. It's possible to obtain pins uh, with a flat surface in contact with the object or inclined. Another function that we have is the inner support and reinforce. Uh, now, as you can see, we have already selected Reinforce and we have connection between the pins. So, in this way, the structure under the model will be more hard and solid. Uh, removing the Reinforce and recalculating the, uh, the pins, we obtain single pins, like now. 
without uh, a connection between them okay as I'm showing you now the pin are not connected I think that for this case we can save this strategy we can confirm this support strategy okay uh, in the left down corner we have the number of the layers according with the material that we selected plus the exact time that is necessary to print this model selecting this material I mean of course the time uh, that is necessary to print and of course also the layers change uh, according with the thickness that we select opening the settings uh, menu we can see the materials that we installed on the, on, in the software and pressing the right button is possible to add the new material I uh, would to remember you that the printer is open I mean you can uh, works you can work uh, with the shining 3d material and you have already uh, the parameter to, to work with this material or you can work with all the material in the market compatible with um, 405 nanometer of light length there are some material in the market with the specifics already right on the label and in th this case it's very easy to, to, to insert uh, the correct parameter in order to print uh, the model properly uh, otherwise uh, you can ask to the R&D department of Shining 3D in order to add uh, third-party material parameter inside your software or of course if you prefer you can find yourself the best parameter that you want to print a different kind of phrasing okay on the right side of the monitor on the right side of the software we have the button uh, to change the view and I think uh, that's it we can press the slice button in order to create the file that we need to import into the printer in order to start the printing phase let me save the file <coughs> now the software is slicing is created the slice of this uh, job and we are ready to send the file to the printer if you have the printer connect to your Wi-Fi connection uh, at the end of the slicing uh, process the software asks you if you want to send in automatically the file to the printer otherwise you can use a USB stick to move the file in to, the print to the printer okay now together if you agree we can have an overview of the first step that is mandatory to do in order to start correctly a printing phase once placed uh, the resin tank inside the printer we are ready to to, to mount uh, the building platform like you are seeing in the video it's very easy to place in the correct way it then uh, there is a very important step uh, the level of the platform to do this operation in the correct way we need to lose uh, the four screw on both sides of the of the platform then we need to press setting machine setup and press manual level as you are seeing in the video the y-axis goes down then it's necessary to press down the platform with your hand and close the four screw as you can see pushing down the platform then lock the screw in the, in the diagonal direction so this is very very important in order to have the first layer in contact with the, the plate otherwise the model will fall down and you will have a, a, a failed print 
another important step in order to print correctly is to mix for two minutes or more the resin before put the resin inside the vat inside the resin tank if you are printing for the third or the fourth time with the same vat and the same resin inside is necessary to mix uh, the resin with the card is is necessary to mix very well the resin with the card otherwise uh, the different uh, layer will be not in contact i mean you will obtain uh, defects in the in the model okay once complete uh, all this operation we can uh, insert uh, the usb stick and we are ready to print once completed the printing phase we need to put the model in the isopropylic alcohol in the alcohol isopropylic with the same alcohol we can clean the, the printing platform as you are see as you're seeing sorry we can of course also clean uh, the printer and then we are ready to put the models inside the ultrasonic cleaner two minutes are okay in order to remove the resin then we can dry the model of course and we can place the model we can put the model under the UV lamp here we have the time that uh, we recommend for the different material for the dental model 15-20 minutes are ok and finally we have complete and this is the result of what we have printed Okay, thank you Filippo, thank you Simone for the exceptional work and of course uh, thank you all for uh, joining our webinar. I, I do hope, we do hope that you enjoyed uh, the presentation and the connection between Exocad Model Creator and our ArchiFobD1 uh, DLP3D printer. As, uh, as always I would like to, to remind you that we the Shining 3D Dental team are always available to um, answer to all your questions uh, here on Facebook, on direct messages on Facebook, as well as on our email addresses and on the dental support email box. So feel free to contact us anytime you need. Uh, as I always would like to remember that uh, these, uh, the recording of this video will be uploaded 
on the um, on our YouTube channel, so you will have the chance to keep watching and watching again the video anytime you want, whenever you want. And of course, uh, you will also have the chance to comment below our YouTube uh, YouTube video uh, to keep asking questions anytime uh, you, you need it. So we still have some minutes. We still have five minutes, as far as I can see, for more questions. If you have uh, any doubt you would like to be highlighted now, please feel free to ask. Up to now, I can't see any questions. So, okay, there may be some delay as always. So, I'm sorry if I do not reply in real time, but you know how it works. So. Uh, we have we have seen that some of you has experienced uh, some troubles in uh, with the volume and with the connection. I think that uh, it may have been because of the overloaded uh, connection, overloaded network. But you know, thanks to the YouTube channel, you will have the chance to chance to see the video again without any trouble. And uh, as always, we do rely on on your feedback. To improving the to improve the quality of our webinars. So if you have any also complaints, please feel free to to point it out. Thank you, Umesh. Thank you for uh, for your um, comments and for your presence here as always. Okay. Thank you, Francesco. Grazie mille. I see the comment uh, on the Execute Experts video party. Thank you. Grazie. Okay. So, if there are no questions, uh, I would like just the last time to remind <laughs> to remind you that <clears throat> you can contact us anytime. So, thank you once again, and uh, we hope you will uh, you will join our next webinar. And uh, you can keep following us on our social networks channels on our Facebook page to keep updated about the contents of uh, the next webinars. Thank you all and uh, have a nice evening. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thanks to all. Bye bye.